Yo, what's up guys, Super. so today I'm going to do a review on the Roxy GameCab HD Pro and how to set it up and uh, how easy it is to record um, your gameplay on Xbox. I'm going to do it on Xbox 360, I'm going to be doing it um, with two HDMI cables. You can also use an Xbox 360 component cable, um, but you're going to be, need to buy that separately unless it came with your Xbox. Um, but I'm using uh, our HDTV, our HDMI, it has an HDMI cable in the back or port in the back, so I can just hook it up with the Roxio. Um, so you're gonna need two HDMI cables. They're pretty cheap online. I think they're like two bucks on eBay or something like that. Luckily, we had some around our house. Um, my dad likes to keep these these cables, and luckily, he had uh, some extra for this. So um, it's really easy to set up. I'm just gonna show you how. So let's get started. First off, you're gonna need these two cables. You're gonna need your Roxio, and you're gonna need your cable that comes with your Roxio HD Pro that hooks it up from the Roxio to your computer. And speaking of computers. You're going to need yours close to the Roxio. My Xbox is on this table right here. Sorry, the iPad camera zooms in really quickly. I can just focus on that for you. There you go. Um, but it zooms in. or The zoom is pretty close, so it's sort of hard to see stuff. But there's my laptop. Got three lines of dead pixels right there. Really sucks. Had that for about a month and a half. But uh, yeah, so you're going to remember that your Roxio came with a, a disc. And you're just going to set it up on your computer. And uh, that's when you use to record. So first off... Go ahead and place your Roxio. I like to put it on top of my Xbox, nice and simple there. Um, I don't know if there's a heating issue, but I haven't had any problems with that yet. And then you're gonna need your HDMI cable. And what you're gonna do is right on the top, right there, is an HDMI port. You're gonna put your HDMI cable, you're gonna put that right in there. Just in that slot, I'm just gonna do it really quick. Yes, yeah, I'm wearing my pajama pants again because they're really comfy. So uh, that fits really nice in there. And then on the back of your TV, oh shit, the cable's all messed up. One sec. Ah, okay, cable got uh. Alright, we're good. We're good. Now you're going to put that back at around TV. And make sure you have an HDMI port in the back of your TV before you go ahead and buy those HDMI cables. Because you don't want to get those cables and then find out you don't even have one in the back of your TV. Uh, so what you can do is just look for in the back. It looks right like this. That's what it looks like. And you're going to see that your iPad cable fits nice and snug in there. By just... Plugging that baby in there. There you go. Fits nice in there. Man, the iPad, uh, it's got some nice quality one up close. Look at that. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyways, remember that the top of your Roxio goes to your TV. And that means that the bottom has to lead to the Xbox. So, at the bottom of your, X or your Roxio game capture, you're going to see another USB cord. Or, uh, sorry, HDMI port. We're just going to put that in there again. I'm going to lift you guys on the ground so I can plug that in. Alright, so there we go. That fits nice in there. And then the bottom goes in your Xbox. Now this port is right there at the bottom. It's about in the middle of your Xbox. 360 and the port, oh, whoops, that's the wrong one, is right there. Looks just, just like the HMI port in your TV. You're just going to plug that in there. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's all you need for your Roxio, except for the cable, which is the last thing you need. And that's really simple. Plug this one, this part, into your game cap. The uh, port is, or the, whatever you call it, is the USB port is right there, that fits in nice and snug, as you can see, and then you're just going to need your, uh, where's the end of this, there it is, you're going to need to fit the other end, which is, where is it, there it is, the USB port into a USB cord in your computer, so I'm just going to plug that in really quick, into side of my computer which unfortunately is turning into a piece of crap <laughs> so there we go all right so that's all you need as you can see the light turned on if the light turns on you know let's focus on that if the light turns on you know it's uh 
working. I just gotta find the right channel on your TV. Let's go ahead and, and switch. Sorry, the uh, I have a window in the background. Oh, it just probably blinded some of you, so it's hard to uh, do that. And your Xbox should turn on just like that. Bam. And I just gotta find the channel. And unfortunately, I left my controller downstairs, so I don't have to get that. Um, and then, this is the problem that some people encounter. Now, if the if the Xbox doesn't show up on your TV after you plug in your game cache, what you're gonna do is uh, unplug the unplug all the ports again, and then or unplug all the ports from your Roxio, and then plug them back in. Uh, restart your Xbox, and it should be there. So I'll show you how to do it. I'm just gonna unplug everything. All right, so I've unplugged it all. Then what you want to do, make sure your Xbox is uh, on. Uh, what you want to do is just hook it all back in. I'm going to do that really quick for you guys. So the, uh, that blinked red image just means that you're missing this cable. And that turns the light back on. And there you go. It turns on. So if that happens, if it doesn't show up for you guys, just uh, you can leave the Xbox on. I believe that's what does it. And then uh, unplug all every single cable in, in the uh, in the Roxio. Uh, you don't have to do the back in your TV, but that turns it on. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get my controller and uh, show you guys how to work the program. All right, so now that uh, everything's plugged in, I got my controller. You're going to go ahead and go to computer. You're going to open Roxio Game Capture HD Pro. Go ahead and hit, where's my mouse? Does it even show the mouse? There it is. Hit capture. It's going to load. Now, some people have a runtime error here. I believe there's a fix. I'm just not sure where it is. Um, but if your computer is pretty up, pretty much updated, all you guys who are capturing should be able to load the program. Now, I don't know if this is just my computer, but it, it loads pretty slow. The whole program is pretty slow in general, but it gets the job done. Um, it just captures. You don't have to edit it with uh, the program that comes with the radio wave, <laughs> radio wave, but um, that's what does it for me. So you can see it turned blue. Oh, sorry, I just hit the power button. Uh, it turns blue and then turns back to the regular thing. And as you can see on screen, now we have what's on the TV. Now my settings are just pretty much exactly like it comes. I just turn the quality all the way up, and obviously it's going to take more uh, megabytes up. And yeah, so if the uh, Rockdale GameCap HD Pro is your uh, source and the HDMI, if you're using HDMI cords, is your input and you're ready to go. So on my controller here, as you can see, we're going to go ahead, it's sort of hard to focus, it's all the light in the background. You know how to sign in? So I'm signing in, and I'm spinning on my uh, GameCap 2. Pretty easy to, uh, to do. And then, I'm not going to capture any gameplay, and I'll just show you to do it really quick. Why am I not focusing? There we go. Uh, you can live stream, and you can start capture. I'm just going to start the capture. Let's go ahead and start it. So you can see it's starting the capture. I'm just going to go ahead and move my uh, controller a couple times. And you go ahead and stop the capture. So uh, obviously you're going to be capturing stuff other than this, but... And then down there, you're going to see your project file. It's, if it has that loading sign, it's obviously loading. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen for you guys. There we go, that's full screen. And there you're going to see your file. Once it's loaded, the thumbnail will be up. Just double click it to see it. And there it's playing. I'm going to move, uh, there we go. Records in HD, good stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's how you record. And obviously, you can just put your game in. You can live stream. You can start your capture. You can do all that. Uh, so it's really, really simple to start to start it. Um, obviously, it's not as uh, high tech as a HTTP VR, um, but I really like it. It's simple, and uh, it sort of reminds me of Sony Vegas. The editing, not. <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, Roxio Game Cap. Ugh! See this baby one more time. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really, really good beginner capture card. Even it's not even beginner, uh, but I mean, obviously, if you want to start off like I do, then the game cap is a really good choice. Some people don't like it, most do. And uh, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Look out for more videos coming out soon, and peace.